And here is our new Minecraft world. Our little blocky hero begins to look around, looking for the first objective to complete. And it appears he begins to chop down some oak wood trees for later use. Chop, 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 his little hands go as he chops away at the tree with his bare hands. Our little blocky hero has acquired six pieces of oak wood. Astounding. Chop, 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 he goes at this tree. Hmm, he wonders. I may need to gather some food for later so that I may eat and not starve. Oh, here it is, some food. He kills the chicken with ease. He has spotted a cow and begins hitting it ferociously, looking to gain some more food to eat. And he finds another chicken and again slays it down with no difficulty. He finds a pig and takes mercy on the pig and decides not to kill it. But the sheep, now the sheep must die for it has wool and wool is a valuable resource if you wish to craft a bed which is needed to set your spawn point so that if you may perish you may respawn at the given location your bed has been placed in hmm he wonders what now shall I do we can see here that he is running across the great plains looking for a new objective to complete, and he spots it. Two more white sheep, perfect, for you need three wool of the same color to craft a Minecraft bed. He slays the wool, he, sl uh, he slays the sheep with ease, gaining their wool for later use. Chop, 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 he goes at another sheep. The ocean has been located and he looks at it longingly for a new adventure. Sugar cane, sugar cane, he spots some sugar cane and begins to wander towards it to gather it for his sugary needs. Luckily, our blocky pal has no diabetes, so it is safe for him to consume. He spots a red object in the distance and wonders if it is a house of any, of any kind, and begins to explore in that direction. But no, alas, it is simply a mushroom that has grown over its necessary size. He begins to scale a rocky mountain and finds some spruce trees and some coal sticking out of the ground for ease of access. Another chicken and a llama. He slays the chickens with no difficulty and wanders towards the llama's direction to see if he can interact with it. He mounts the llama and begins to ride it as it frantically tries to escape. Again, he mounts it and this time it kicks him off yet again. He hops on the llama this time and rides around and this time the llama is its com comrade in arms. But with no way to guide the llama to any new locations, he simply waits and rides as it runs around with a mind of its own. Hmm, we see here our blocky hero is beginning to craft something for use. He stores all of his items in his inventory and leaves his hotbar open for new items to use. 
he selects a crafting table in his hotbar and places it down. What now will our crafty hero craft? Of course, oak planks to use. He turns some of them into sticks and leaves the remaining remaining for later use. It seems he made a miscalculation in crafting a wooden pickaxe, but that is no bother since he can just use these sticks for later. He begins mining at the cobblestone. He obtains a cobblestone and turns back to his crafting bench to turn them all into a furnace. And here he has crafted a furnace to use. He uses some of the items he gathered on his travels like the oak planks to use to burn the oak logs into charcoal to burn. But wait, he remembers, this is not necessary, for he has located some coal off in the distance to use. He gathers an extra three cobblestone to turn into another pickaxe. It's a simple crafting recipe, and quite easy to break, but other than that, it is a trusty tool to use temporarily until he acquires the iron ore and smelts it. He bids adieu to his new companion and wanders to find some more cobblestone and coal to mine. He's found some coal to mine and begins mining away, but sadly it isn't very much. He finds another sheep and he has a new target to hunt. He sneaks up on it very sneakily and then lunges at it and sends it flying off the cliff and it perishes from fall damage. Then he turns back around and climbs up the mountain again to look for new resources to gather. Attempting to determine the time, he looks up and locates the sun and realizes it is almost night time, so he must prepare a shelter quickly. He mines some extra coal and prepares to make another shelter for him to live in comfortably and safely. Building off from the tree, he begins to build his little house. He misplaced a piece of wood, but it's no bother since he can easily pick it up like the gamer alpha boy he is. He uses the remainder of his oak logs to turn them into oak planks and to, to finish the rest of his house. And here he is, having finished his house and sitting very triumphantly in his new building. He needs the extra the last of his wood to turn it into a Minecraft bed to rest on so that he may gather his strength for the next Minecraft day. His spawn point is set and he's prepared for the night time to get here. He watches as the sun sets.